that, guys. So I turned on the apps and DoorDash brought me an offer and Spark brought me an offer at the same time. So let me know which one you would have gone with. I'll let you know, of course, which one I ended up choosing. So DoorDash sent me an offer, $12 for 5.6 miles, which is a reasonable offer. Now it is two pickups and you do have to pick up from Little Caesars. Now I know some people don't like picking up from Little Caesars. Of course, it's going to depend on your market, your previous experience. Spark sent me an offer at $29.57 and the miles for that is 2.8 miles. Now I do have to do some shopping and when looking at the items, there's a total of 16 items that need to be shopped for, but they're multiple items of each item, which is actually super nice because it can make the shopping trip a lot, lot quicker. So I ended up going with Walmart, which I am here right now. This is an awesome order. And of course, if you know me, you know that I don't mind doing the Walmart shopping orders. I actually enjoy them. They go pretty smooth for me. So let me know which one you would have gone with. Um, we're going to go into Walmart and get this shopping to go and we're going to see how long it takes. Go for it. <laughs> All right, so I have made it into Walmart. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap start shopping and um, let's start with the energy drinks. They want two of these. And again, we're gonna see how long it takes me. Let's head to uh, aisle A4, section one. All right, made it to the aisle and it looks to be this one right here. And they want two of them. So scan, two. And they got enough quantity, confirm. All right, next to the chip aisle, I'm gonna do a few more items and then check in with you guys. All right, guys, I've gotten a few items done, got nine items left. Everything has been going smooth so far. Now they want um, some of this ravioli. So I think I spot that. So let me grab it and give it a scan. And they want two of these, which they have, so that's awesome. Scan, two, and confirm, confirm. And it says delivery time updated, a perishable item was added. This order needs to be delivered by 8 19 p.m. to avoid a cancellation. That gives me plenty of time, should definitely have it delivered by then. Um, so I'm gonna hit got it. And now they want some Marie calendars and they want six of those. So that's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to head over there next and then I'll check back in with you guys. All right, guys, got the plant-based pot pies and they actually only had six left. Um, no more than that. So worked out absolutely perfect. I'm going to tap confirm. And now we're moving on to some impossible bowls. So which probably is in the same aisle. So seven more items left which is awesome i'll check back in with you guys all right guys ran into my first uh item that they don't have they wanted the fresh impossible um plant-based ground brick uh the fresh one which they did not have which you can find like in the meat section um and i was asking an employee if they had any more he said no but then they had he was telling me how they have it in the frozen section the exact same thing and i was like okay so i put not couldn't find item and then the substitution popped up exact same thing um, which it seems that they have which is awesome um so yeah i'm gonna hit a scan substitute and grab that and oh no don't tell me wrong one scan Let me make sure it's the same thing mm -hmm. made from plants it looks like the same thing. Let me try it again. Sometimes interesting. Hmm. The, you know, sometimes like there's one little difference you're not seeing and I don't know why. And it's at the section that they have it. Let me try one more time. I've had it happen where 
third time it's scanned, it cannot select. So I am going to try to enter the barcode one and done. Try scanning the item again. Okay. All right, let me see what I need to do with this because it is giving me issues, but it's the same item. It's the frozen one. So, yeah, real interesting. So I'm going to take a picture of the barcode and see if I can insert it that way. All right, guys, one moment. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> real quick. So I tr somebody gave me a trick. One of you guys gave me a trick to take a picture of the barcode, you know, and then go into your photos and then you can copy it in your photos. I have an iPhone. It worked and I input it, but it still wouldn't go through, which is interesting. But so I went into the freezer, grabbed what seems to be the exact same thing, except this one doesn't look too good, but Am I missing something here? 12 ounce beef made from plants, impossible. I mean, it looks identical. The one on the right is the one that would not scan. The one on the left scanned, unless like the barcode. I tried wiping the barcode too. So let me see if the barcodes are the same. Cause that is throwing me off. Zero two. Oh, it is different. Interesting, but it looks to be identical. But the barcode's slightly different. But this one went through. So for super odd. I mean, look at this. Am I missing something, guys? One on the right would not scan has a different barcode. The one on the left, which looks a little rough, I'm gonna swap it out. Um, scanned, but they're identical. I think the barcode just got changed and that's the issue. So. <laughs> FYI, if that ever happens and you're like, wait a minute, matches the picture exactly, try grabbing a different one and scanning it and it worked. And then I went back and checked the barcodes and sure enough, they are different. Um, yeah, let me find them a better one, but we're gonna move on to the eggs. I was on a roll and then of course, you know, an item, they're out of the one that they want. They had a substitution, which is exactly the same thing except frozen, um, but it happened. So I'm gonna find them a better looking one. This one just looks a little rough to me. I don't know, it looks, this one looks better, but. I think it's the same thing. Um, I mean, I can't see any difference, but yeah, interesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna um, put this one back and we're gonna move on to the eggs. Four items left. All right, guys, last two items and they want the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, quantity of two, which I believe I see right there. Of course, sometimes you gotta stand back and take a look and make sure you spot it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those and give it a scan. So, let's see, where's the bark? Okay. And, all right, we are good, and there is two of them. Confirm, confirm. Oh, wait a minute, okay. <laughs> I was like, I have two more items, I'm thinking two more items of this, but uh, I got a dessert donut. So we're gonna get the donuts after this, and then we are good to go. All right, guys, donuts have been found. They are right there. They wanted two of them and they had to, so that is good to go. We are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide review complete. And we're done shopping, continue. And it is time to head to a checkout and uh, get the, all this stuff bagged up. And there is the cart of groceries. Of course, once I put the sodas in, it got a little heavy, but <laughs> not bad at all. All right, we're heading to checkout. Right. Start self checkout and scan QR. Does it quick? <laughs> Good to go. So I just had to grab some bags, which are over there, and uh, get this all bagged up.
All right, shopping's all done. Car is loaded. So from the time I got into the store to the time I'm leaving the store, total shopping trip was 35 minutes. Not bad for the pay. The only little holdup that I had was with that funky barcode situation with the impossible me. One, they didn't have like the fresh one, but they did have the substitute of the frozen one. And then when I got to the frozen one, the barcode wouldn't scan. I couldn't input it. And I'm like, what is going on? It's, it matches the picture to a T. <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe something's funky. Grabbed another one and it scanned. And then looking at the barcodes, one was different, but they're the exact same items. Totally funky. Uh, let me know if that's ever happened to you. It happens, funky things like that. Um, but they got everything they wanted, which always makes me happy when you get the customer everything that they want. Um, so it was a successful trip. Customer is eight minutes 2.6 miles and they did leave me a couple notes of where they're located which is always greatly appreciated we're on our way order is all dropped off super easy for the most part straight forward order except for that little meat situation but not bad at all that's why you always got to make sure the price is right when you accept certain offers just in case you run into an issue it could be at the store it could be at a pickup having to wait for an order dropping off the order traffic so you have to take all those things in consideration when accepting the offer or looking at the offer to make sure it's worth your time so all all in all, from the time that I started shopping to the end of drop off, took me 50 minutes to complete this order for $29.57. Not bad at all. A little under an hour almost $30 for the hour, which is awesome. So we're going to see what else I can get and uh, keep these wheels to move. And I'm going to get all the apps turned on and see who brings in the best offer. All right, guys, after I got done saying what I was saying, Uber Eats brought me in a reasonable offer, $6.08 for 1.4 miles, literally kind of across the street from where my last drop off is. So we're heading there now. just had to be bagged up which is awesome so we get these wheels to move in two minutes 0.7 miles it is a meet at door i will just message the customer let them know i am on my way they do get a push notification that i'm on my way but i just like to do it sometimes as an extra courtesy especially if it's a meet at door hopefully they'll be prepared that i am on my way we're heading there now Hi there, how's it going? Hey, right. Laura, have a good night. Thank Thanks. All right, guys, another order's dropped off. So uh, this particular location was kind of like on a dead end. And so I ended up like flipping around and I seen the customer close the door cause he must've, you know, they get notifications that were there and, and whatnot. So he must've not seen me and close the door just as I was pulling up. I always like to flip around on a dead end cul-de-sac, make sure that I'm facing the exit. If there was ever an emergency, you want to get out of there quick you don't got time for flipping around that type of stuff just something I like to practice but anyways I get up there give a knock and he was already there so handed him his food all is well so I am where all of my restaurants are waiting for the next order but I did want to bring up for anybody that's new or may not be tracking their miles this is something you definitely definitely want to be doing 
as this is a big tax write-off, you wanna make sure you are writing off as much as possible. So for instance, if you bought a phone holder, a hot bag, a dolly to help you get the job done, this is a write-off. And if you're looking for a way to track all of this stuff, there is an app called Solo, which will also help you estimate your state and federal taxes, which is awesome, helps you with the peace of mind when it comes to tax season, because of course, as the months go on, uh, tax season's getting closer to us. Um, it'll also help you track your income. They have a pay guarantee in certain areas, just a ton, a ton of features for us drivers. Super helpful app and everything's just in one place. Um, so you can keep track of all that stuff because of course you wanna maximize your deductions. So if you are looking to try out Solo, I do have a link down in the description for a 14 day free trial. Definitely worth checking out. Now they do have a few different subscription plan options, of course, depending on what your needs are. Now, if you do end up liking Solo, you end up signing up for one of their subscription plans. Do keep in mind that Solo is also a tax write-off because you're using it for business use. So that is great news. Um, if you do use my link and end up going with one of their subscription plans, they will pay you out $10 for signing up with using my link. Of course, you do got to link a PayPal or a Venmo account to get that payout. Uh, but definitely worth checking out. Again, I do have the link down in the description. So I'm going to hang out and see what the next offer brings and get these wheels back to moving. All right, guys, it didn't take long for Uber Eats to send me in a reasonable offer. $9.09 .09 for 3.7 miles for Panda Express. I am here right now. We're going to go in there and check in. ready it just had to be bagged up which is awesome customer nine minutes 3.3 miles i believe they are in a house yes they are says uh they left some notes it says you can leave it in front of the door it is a leave at door and then it also says it's your choice if you want to knock thanks so um a customer that doesn't mind if i knock um so yeah we're gonna go get this order dropped off and uh it's been going smooth tonight love it all right we're on our way All right, guys, another super smooth drop off straight forward, just how we like it. So, you know, the customer said they didn't mind if I knocked or not, you know, either way is fine. Well, I gave them a knock and um, I don't even know if they heard me because that door is solid wood. If I lived in that house, I don't think that I would hear the knocks at all. Um, that's probably why they don't mind. <laughs> Anyways, they do get notification that the order's been dropped off, but pretty funny. Um, there was a little bit of sound, but not much. And that door is like solid wood. Um, so anyways, tonight has been awesome. It started off with that awesome spark order. Again, I don't mind the shopping order. Orders, and it's even better when they have multiples of items um, it makes it go by quick and easy they ordered quite a bit of like frozen stuff and they wanted multiple frozen things also look like they were maybe making spaghetti or something maybe tonight um, but all has been well I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here always so much appreciate you guys riding along with me and of course if you did enjoy the ride along do give the video a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys